Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to Song in the Smoke Overview. So we have 4 releases today, oh my god. Last time when Facebook Connect was arriving it wasn't that busy with releases and now it's like everyone is struggling because there's so many games releasing nowadays that I even started pick and choosing what I record and also like last week I didn't even manage to do everything, had to postpone it for the next day, like October is crazy for VR, that's basically the summary of it. So Song in the Smoke seems to be an adventure survival game, essentially one of its kind because we've not had a single player campaign based game of that genre, if it's for hardware requirements and physics. For some reason it was never a thing, but from a township tale release they seem to start popping out finally. Survival overall are not really my thing, I believe because my life is a literal survival. I do hope however the adventure aspect will like draw me into this game because it's something very unique concept wise. We're gonna be put in a world where feral wildlife and mythical creatures are out there to get us. It's not listed but to me it comes across as a horror game as well, which I don't know how I feel about it and it's definitely not gonna be a Jurassic level of horror. We're gonna be able to defend ourselves and have to maintain aspects like crafting and stuff. I don't think we're gonna have like some extreme mechanics going on, I'm pretty much expecting the same or similar level to Township Tale which I feel like is sufficient for quests. I'm very much curious what about the actual Song in the Smoke, like the storyline. I feel like I would get more into the survival if it would be more focused on the story itself, like the surviving aspects and just controlling hunger crafting weapons, like I don't mind it at all in terms of gameplay, I just hope it's not gonna be overwhelming to the point that you stop caring what's going on and just pointlessly run around and killing creatures, like I'm not really the type of sandboxy player. Everything else seems very cryptic and mysterious, so we're basically diving into the unknown. Let's go to the gameplay! Wow, what's that? Like, it's lightning or shadows? I already see like parameters like cold, hunger. I think this game is also on PC VR, so if it's gonna be appealing, then we're gonna try that as well. Let's move locomotion, subtitles. Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, that's not the things from <laughs> horror. <laughs> wait, what the hell? Continuous now? Oh, well, that's my fault. <laughs> I guess we won't have like an introduction or whatever. This is just straight up <laughs> into the game and play. <laughs> These walk fast, damn. Oh, um, why it's like have a face in the middle? Cold and release, jump or climb. Okay. <laughs> Press to pick up items. <laughs> this is the parameter of hunger. What? Okay. Yes, I am awake. Thank you, game. What now then? Stroll around, see if something kills us. Whatever that is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Leading cold, poison, hunger, exhaustion. We are literally naked here. <laughs> Can we like store it rapidly, for example, from our shoulder? I'm not sure. I guess let's just see like that. It's not like optimal to just stop every time we want to put something in stash or we can stack things on top of that, okay? Put either hand on your chest and hold to grab your map. Oh! Hmm. 
Yeah, it's kind of nah. weird to just climb like that. I wish I would just touch it. Can I? Did I break my bone or something? <laughs> What's a belay? Hit five rocks with a belay to make an arrowhead. <laughs> Don't think I know even the basis of survival, so I guess we have an arrowhead. <laughs> it's like loading to climb. Oh, damn, I'm hungry real fast. Well, the graphics are basic, obviously. I'm not very much surprised, but it's also like an art style on top of it. It's not like potato graphics. Oh my god. <laughs> Bug fibers are essential for crafting. Combine an arrowhead with a bone to make a knife. Do we have like a holster here? Well, I guess I have a knife. <laughs> With an item in hand, tap trigger to sort in your cloak. Oh, that's very easy. I thought there was gonna be some movement. I mean, I know. <laughs> we have a quiver, okay. What about it? Don't mind me. I thought that was logical. <laughs> oh, okay. We're cold, but how can I fix it? <laughs> it's hot, man, what the hell? This is a long tutorial, <laughs> but I don't mind it. I guess the gameplay is just gonna be slow like that for now. That's just nightmares, what the hell? Ew. Well, uh, shit, I didn't read. Retrieve fatigue something. Sleep to regain lost health. Hold any button to wake up. I don't want to be at night traveling. Okay. You know. <laughs> okay. Well. Actually, no. I'll just sleep. <laughs> I don't think something will wake me up. But at the same time, I feel like that would be the case. The game would just troll me and wake up in the middle. Or I woke up because I'm hungry. <laughs> Interesting, we could just rest in the middle of nowhere. I just have a knife, just in case. <laughs> Who wants to fight me? <laughs> I mean, actually, I don't want no one. <laughs> Green herbs with mortar and pestle to make tonic. Fresh warming curb. I guess this is gonna be a solution for cold status. <sighs> Don't know if we need it, but that's the solution. <laughs> I'm on alert. I wish I would be able to climb it, like, that just makes sense in VR, you know? It's not like groundbreaking, I guess, for me, but uh, still it would be nice. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> carve sticks with a knife to make weapon components. Pick a sparking stone to a carved 
I'm stick to make a torch. Light a torch by struggling against a rock. Wow. I mean, those mechanics are not like from the time shift at all. I feel like it's a little bit more complicated, so this is definitely like nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't like this. Wait, there are textures missing. Okay. <laughs> uh. Are we on water? We're slower. Yeah, we are, okay. Oh my god. Build the fire. First place sticks and bark fibers to the campfire. Don't mind me, man. <laughs> he said S sticks. I can't place like bigger ones. Hit two rocks together to spark the fire. Relieve fatigue by selecting sleep from your cloak menu. Please don't jump scare me. No, no, I don't need to sleep that much. It didn't like waste my resources, surprisingly. You can save your journey at any campfire you have built. Oh, okay, so it's not automatic. What are those? Okay. I guess we follow the tracks. There are no enemies still, but it's very slow gameplay. What? Wait. <laughs> oh my god, I'm already like forgetting the recipes. Was it medium pine stick? Okay. What? This time calls out for its fellows. What do you mean? No, no, no. <laughs> it's not like uh, calling the monster or something? Yeah, <laughs> who's yelping? You are getting cold. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Blood Moon, lovely. I'm doing dual reading. It's too high. Mm. 
Oh, okay. We have to collect those. Okay, well, the gameplay is already too long for the footage. Nothing really happened so far, but it seems interesting. Like, it's definitely a pure adventure game. Like, you just travel through the world and pick up stuff, discover things. Definitely interesting. I'm not even sure if something that's for me, but the whole vibes are very much like you're going on a journey to the unknown with, you know, survival kind of mechanics, but it's not all about that. It's just to discover what in the area and just trying to understand what's going on with even the survival. <laughs> I think we'll continue it. It's not gonna be like an immediate playthrough. And we will try the PC VR as well because it's definitely intriguing. It's not like very fast paced gameplay that I'm used to, but it's not too complicated to be like overwhelmed by the mechanics. So I think it has like a perfect balance of those features. So, so far can't really judge it completely, but it's mysteriously interesting. <laughs>